So now we have seen uh, defining attributes for the entity called employee master. So how do we get these values from the user without a UI? So the next perspective we are going to see is the form design where you design a UI for the model. So you go to the form design perspective. So you can see a default form uh, with the way you have defined in the model and the complete section will be embedded in a default form. But if you want to create a new one with new style, you can create a new form. So do about, you have to click on new. Right. So we have a definite layout uh, for creating UIs, uh, 1028 by 768 resolution. You fix up a layout. So as per the layout, I'm actually designing the form. So I say the first grid will have the header. Now consider, uh, you know, this is like a HTML design. How do you do HTML designing? Basically, like uh, you consider this is a this one form is a big table, and you have three columns in it, which is uh, and five rows in it. So you have one table and five TR and inside each TR you have three TDs. So now inside this you are going to construct uh, the form. So in this TD I am again going to put a table and then define what I want so that it gives you the uh, perfect HTML layout. So I am going to insert a grid which is of one row three columns. I'm just giving the first uh, column a small gap so that gives up a small gap uh, for before starting the header and for this I'm giving and for this I'm going to give 150. So here I'm going to see so you have given a heading. So what is this for the third uh, column why uh, this uh, has been created. You can say like a note on the heading like mandatory fields. So we are done now and now we are going to create a field of the employee master in the UI. Now for that I am going to again create a grid. Now we say we have totally five uh, fields which is employee ID, name, designation, department and the reporting to. So if you consider a four column uh, scenario where with label and a widget you would need uh, three rows so I'm saying I need three rows and four columns and as I said I'm just giving the correct width
so now i have a four column layout let me arrange or type in an order the labels i want to display in the form so i have the orders order of the labels that i want now i need to map the employee id widget to capture employee id so for that you have a named cell section in the right hand side which shows all the public fields of the model so you can select the appropriate one with the appropriate widget so if you see here uh, here comes the employee id for the employee id the suggested uh, widgets are text box and label so you can select any one of these so since i'm going to enter the employee id as of now so let me select a text box for it so now here a text box widget is assigned for employee id field same way you can select text box widget for everything so i'm done so if you see at the bottom there's a there's a default form which we have seen and there's a new form which is created and you could see a gu id created for this just an id you can rename this to a form so you can rename this form and there's a form name came now the powerful fu feature of orangecape is directly you can preview this form in the development environment itself so we have we can preview like this so if you look at this uh, it's so you know a plain without any colors and fonts all that so let's go and give up some styles to it so there is a cell style section which gives you by default some styles defined in it and you can actually use that so i'm saying go to cell style there are some default styles available you can use any of these so i am for heading i am giving heading 3 and for this i am going to give this is kind of warning so let me say warning text and for these labels i can use any of uh, the other styles i am going to use accent 3 So that's it. Now the form is all right.